Hi everyone, I'm recording in a room with a proper recorder on, so I've got, I've got 10 minutes to do it. Now this, this lesson takes two, oh, this pack takes two lessons, so let's have a look at the first lesson. There are much of muchness, isn't it? It's all F equals MA. It's all thinking parallels and perpendiculars, maybe with a bit of sumac chucked in there. Right, so let's have a look at this then. So it says example one, a car and a trail. Uh, a car and a trailer. So we've done car and trailer once, didn't we? We did them last year. So we should hopefully be able to zip on with this one, but it's on an incline. So it says a car and a trailer are accelerating down a plane inclined at 30 degrees. Right then, so let's draw a picture. So there's my plane, there's my 30 degrees. It's a car and a trailer. So if we assume the driving forwards, the, down the trail, down the um, slope. The car's at the front, and then the trailer is at the back. It says the car has a mass of fifteen hundred kilos, so this fifteen hundred g acting down, and has a resistance of a thousand newtons. I put it in a different colour so it stands out. I like to put my arrows down the bottom because that's what I used to do when I did physics. So a thousand newtons at the bottom. So then it says the trailer has a mass of 800 kilos, so 800 kilos going down, so 800 g, uh, and a resistance to motion of 600 newtons. 600 newtons. So it says find the where are we where are we find the tension in the tow bar. So remember I've got these T's tensions going in opposite directions and find the acceleration. Right, now then, let's have a think about this then. Um, if we think about our two force diagrams, so I've got a 1500g for a car, and a 30 degrees there, so I've got going down, I've got 15 100 g cos 30 and then 1500 g sine 30 and then I've got uh, what else have I got? So I've got a trailer then haven't I? So 800 g acting down and then similar idea then 800 g cos 30 because it's next to the angle and then 800 g sine 30. I hope you can hear me all right. I'm quite far away from the, um, from the, the, I can't get my words out from the microphone. Right, now then, so let's have a look. Let's have a look parallel to the system then. Now your tensions actually cancel out. Um, so let's have a look parallel. When we did it last year, we lumped it together. Now we can do that. We could lump it together as a single particle. And that would just work out the acceleration force because our t values will cancel with this anyway. So I'm going to do f equals ma. So I'm looking what's running down the slope minus what's stopping us go down the slope is equal to mass times acceleration. So what's going down the slope is the 1500 g sine 30 and the 800 g sine 30. Now, if I'd done it as a single particle, I would have just had a 2,300 g sine 30. Now, I've got the tension moving down. So I've got a tension going with it in the tow bar. So that's all the arrows pointing in the direction. And then I've got the resistance. So I've got the tension opposing it. So you can kind of see that those tensions, if I'd put it together as a single particle, would have just disappeared. So if I'd done this bit as a single particle, it would have been just been a 2,300 g sine 30. Now I'm going to think about my resistance to motion. So I've got 1,000 newtons from the car and 600 newtons from the trailer. Once again, if I'd have just been doing it as a single particle like I did last year, I would have had a minus 1,600. So that's equal to the mass, which was a combined mass of 2,300. Oops. The 1500 plus the 800. So, once again, if that was like, did it as a single particle, it'd be the same. 
times by an acceleration a. So the t is disappearing. So all I've got here now is 2300a. So if I work out g as, where's g? 9.8, I've got 2300 times 9.8 times sine 30 minus 1600 all over 2300 gives me an A value. Now the A value they wrote down, so you'd always write down a better value and then write down your, your uh, rounded ones, but they just put the rounded one down. So that's two sig figures acceleration there. So that's that first bit working out the acceleration. Now I can work out the tension in the tow bar. So if you remember from last year, I just look at one bit. It doesn't matter which one you look at. The completed pack has looked at the trailer. So in terms of a picture for the trailer, just a little picture just to, well, wow, do you need a picture? Okay, you can you think probably happy without a picture. If we just look at that bit there. Nope, do you know what? I'm drawing a picture. So there's my 13, there's my trailer. It was 800 and 600. So 800G, 600 Newtons. Tension, it's got an acceleration of 4.2 there, so I can set it up, can't I? There's my 800g, and my 30, my 800g cos 30, my 800g sine 30. Do f equals ma parallel to it again? So parallel, can't spell parallel. So parallel, so going down, the minus resisting is mass times acceleration. So going down is the 800 G sine 30 and the tension. Resisting is 600. That's equal to a mass of 800 times by 4.2. So do some switching around and I've got, oh, I have to keep T over here one time or two. So I've got the 800 times 4.2, add on the 600, take away the 800g sine 30. So once again, make sure you put a better answer down and a rounding answer. So they've got 43.47 this time, so you've got a better answer. You're rounded to 2 sig fig will be 43 meters. 2 sig fig. And then that's one, that's one, that, well, that's that one over. Is it a one for you or it's a, it's a double example?